All right, so I want to talk to you about some misinformation on YouTube. And um, I'm down, down south, Daniel here. And if you're black, this is my heritage. I'm not racist. Um, so I want to talk about, first of all, I could get into a bait about this flag, which, which I can, if you want, really quick. Um, but right now, that's not the time for that, because I don't, I don't believe in this big government we have now. In fact, I think if they wanted to get rid of fleas, these chemtrails would. And these wildfires bring fleas. There's all kinds of weird reasons why. All, it's such a bad flea thing right now that they kill. Um, it's, it's, it's so tragic. They kill. Um, it's, it's, it's awful. And anyway, there's a lot of misinformation about the roaches, too. The little German roaches, which are in every state, and so are the fleas. If you think Florida's bad, go to Cali, too. They have the jumping ones. And there's tough little buggers where these flea sprays don't work. Uh, they do not work. I'm going to tell you right now, the hot shot is a scam. It doesn't work for roaches, either. It just pisses them off. Stuff's got mostly alcohol in it, I think. Um, this whole thing about lemons. I see these fucking people on YouTube uh, telling you to chop up lemons and spray your dogs and spray the house. That's a bunch of fucking crap. That does not work. And guess what? You put lemon on yourself, it's like a scratch your skin and burns up. Fuck, so it's going to drive your dogs crazy. And guess what it does for the fleas? It angers them. Have you ever stepped on an anthill? Yeah, it will anger anger the fleas um same with flea spray you spray your dog they'll go crazy so the fleas will go crazy they piss them off might as well take a baseball bat and a hornet's nest or um have you ever tried to spray wasps you might get a few but they all get pissed they catch on a ray um oh you want some revengeful motherfuckers gas your house and I swear these roaches started attacking me. I've had them attack me. And they do kamikaze dives too from the ceiling. Or if you're cooking, you go in the cupboard. Guess what they do? Ooh, kamikaze! Banzai! Um, so I tried this borax egg yolk thing. It's a bunch of bullshit. It didn't really work. They ignore it. Uh, borax doesn't really work. It gets a couple of them. You don't want that shit to spread if you have pets. It'll dehydrate a breeze. So anyway, if you can't afford an exterminator, there are several measures. And you need to go out and buy Bengal. Don't get hot shot. You get one for bed bugs, but uh, the raid one doesn't work too. Get the Bengal. Uh, fogger. And go ahead and gas. You need to get rid of your water, hide the food. Obviously, have some common sense and, you know, take yourself out and your pets. Hold your breath when you do it, too. Release the gas. I've even held it for a second under the bed. Quickly toss it up. I put one in every single room. Hold your breath. Don't fuck around. Don't breathe it. So you need to gas your house uh, weekly if necessary. It's a little investment. Um, fleas come from stray cats, too. If you have a heart like me, I feed them. Some cats. I don't know where they came from. But eventually, you'll have to see if I can slip them a flea pill. But these flea pills, by the way, also don't work um, to get rid of the problem. And you don't know how toxic that is either. Puppies, forget about it. Flea collars are dangerous. If they chew on that flea collar, it's poisonous. Um, so anyway, your best bet, and I've tried flea sprays everywhere. You end up choking. I've coughed chronically. Um, got my eyes. The smell is awful. So don't waste your time with sprays because the fleas come right back. So you need to gas your house. Most effective way. Close all the doors and windows as needed. Come back a couple hours. If your house is really sealed, like you live in like a really sealed central air place, apartment, whatever, stay out. Go at night because that's when the roaches come out. If you want to do the roaches. I went outside with my laptop, made a little bonfire, got some drinks. You know, bug repellent, which the bugs are really nasty. Um, party outside for a while, then come back in. Can't go wrong with that, right? And then you can also watch your dogs. 
outside. Um, and don't let them in until you've aired out the house for a little bit. But uh, that's a big thing. So there's a lot of online bullshit things. And another thing is uh, remedies that, that I, I don't know where people get off. Uh, some some person, it was all these forums, because you on Yahoo Answers, they're a bunch of fucking assholes. And they get bad advice um, for all kinds of things. They just don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And they're nasty, too. Really nasty liberals about it. They just don't know anything. They're know-it-alls. So, um, I mean, one person was saying psychiatrists don't prescribe meds. Yes, they do. You know. Um, they, I don't want to get into that. So, the uh, back to the... Okay, the sprays. The lemon juice doesn't work. Peppermint oil doesn't kill the fleas, and it may get, get rid of them for a moment, momentarily time. So when you do the gas, go ahead, go, go through some cans. It's, it's a little costly. You're, 10 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks for a three pack. And if you have a lot of rooms and not, well, ventilation, like here I'm doing some remodeling, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it goes out quick, but it's still there. And, uh, but do it. Because you're going to notice it like that. Fleas are gone. That lasts. That'll do it. And the roaches will start getting pissed off. They'll run around, you know, they're little, um, little bastards. And you, you, you will get roaches coming out of the woodworks when you start gassing regularly. Um, you know, you, you know, make your house like a gas chamber. And you'll, you'll get these albino roaches that are like white and clear coming out of the woodworks. Something you see of aliens. And you don't want them around. They get into your fucking VHS tapes. I mean, I don't even want to... Don't get me started how many VHS tapes I've had to throw out. You know, cause these fucking niggers getting the fucking the thing. Getting your VHS tapes. Um, they get into your records. They get into your, your collection toys. Uh, they, they get into DVD cases. They're, they're awful, these uh, German roaches. Really tough to get rid of. Oh, and another thing I do is you go and buy the, the mouse paper. Um, I'm going to do another video just to, to show proof. And you don't want to know how disgusting this thing is because it's completely littered like a carpet. And the um, the paper, you know, the sticky paper, which I had a mouse once, and I, I felt bad. I took it out back and, you know, shot it. It's just a humane thing to do. But, um, otherwise, you know, I, I like animals. I like to kill, you know, unless I have to. Of course, I eat meat, but I don't believe in um, people that eat dogs because they're man's best friend. And dog is spelled backwards. It's God. And I, I really... I feel that, uh, you know, people say, oh, meat's meat, that's a bunch of bullshit, you ain't going to have a fucking cow in your house, and uh, they're taking it on a ride, and they're not going to give you that love, and companionship, and um, just don't even go there. People, people who say that have low IQ, and they're fucking liberals, because um, if I was starving, which has happened before, uh, years ago, Talk about your white white privilege. There is no white privilege. There, it's, it's a bunch of bullshit. Top ramen, day to day. You know, before payday. You're rationing, you're rationing, you're rationing. I learned, I, I am the master of fucking rationing. Okay, I'll ration sex if I have to. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Well, anyway. Um, you, uh, you learn to ration things. And uh, make it last. So anyway, back to my point. What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, about the paper. So anyway, it's covered, and that only costs you a couple bucks. And you would be surprised how many motherfuckers get on that. Um, and and I'll, I'll go through five sheets in a week, and it's that bad. You don't know. It, it's so crazy. And I ought to just film it, which I I can. But you've seen the paper. Picture that whole thing just covered with a whole layer. And it, look, it looks like something out of The Mummy. When you have a really bad um, roach thing, because when it's winter time, they're, they're gone. They're hibernating. Um, if you're in a hot area, it's awful. Neighbors bring them. You don't know where it comes from. And it's like The Mummy. You find a little nest, scatter out, get the raid. Another thing is it's not it's not good to be breathing raid in all these sprays. It causes cancer. The Roundup, it's just, just, and it's a temporary thing. So we're going for the root of the problem. So I suggest gas. Get the gas. Make a gas chamber. <laughs> and mm. 
that will do the fleas. I don't believe in flea shampoo. Often, um, you don't know where it comes from. Everything's made in China. In the bowls, it sucks. But they will... Oh, it's 10 minutes. Okay, I'll try to wrap this up. The uh, shampoos irritate the dog's skin, so I suggest oatmeal. Um, you can use dish soap. It's perfectly fine. Or just a plain old bar of soap. Uh, head and shoulders is good for the dandruff. That's perfectly fine. Use head and shoulders. You know, dogs stay inside. I love dogs. They're great. Um, and then you get some stuff for your yard. Keep your yard maintained. Get some home defense. Um, oatmeal shampoo's good. And uh, so that's it. That's really not much to it. But all these stupid things. And then some asshole said to make homemade milk using egg yolks and fucking... Uh, I don't know, some peanut butter, there's all kinds of stuff he said in there. And it's terrible, you'll, you'll kill your dog. He said you sugar, and there's people out there that are just giving bad advice on the fucking internet. Just really bad advice. Uh, th there's another thing, telling you to drink baking soda. Don't do it. That's crazy. You gonna drink bleach? You gonna do bath salts? Come on, use your head. If it sounds out there, and it's something new that just came out, it, just don't do it. That's crazy. Drink fucking baking soda. Get the fuck out of here. Really? Uh, and then I'll go to the comments. Sure enough, somebody said that it, um, it it blocks your potassium. Some people are deficient in that, and that's not good. So don't do anything too crazy. Uh, you know, you got these things on YouTube. Don't eat eggs. Don't drink juice. I mean, there's just a lot of bad information out there. So use your head about the fleas and other things. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I can think of at the moment, but, uh, I'll post, you know, and I, I want to, I want to get this shit off my chest. And, um, thanks for watching. Cheers. Having a Coors and, you know, I don't mind sharing things. So...